Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. My name is Carlos and this is my channel Para Conocer. Today I bring to you to a very special and unique city in Europe. This is Budapest, considered the uh, pearl of the uh, Danube, that is the river that is uh, in one of the sides of me. This city was founded at the end of the 19th century and uh, reunited three cities, three important cities here in Hungary. Uh, Pest, that is on my um, right side, and the cities of Buda and Obuda, that is located in the other side of the river. Please join me in this video so we can meet together about the history of Budapest and um, the iconic places of this wonderful city. Budapest is the biggest city and the capital of Hungary. was founded on 17 November 1873 with the unification of the cities of Buda, Obuda and Pest. Hungary is located in East Europe and has borders with Slovakia, Ukraine, Romania, Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia and Austria. The official language is the Magyar and the currency is the forint, where 1 euro is 404 forint. This is the most iconic uh, building in Budapest. This is the uh, Parliament of Hungary and it was built in the 1873. It's the second biggest parliament in the world, just behind of the Parliament of Romania. Um, if you want to visit the inside, you can, but you have to purchase your tickets in advance uh, online. I will leave you here the uh, webpage so you can check and make an appointment so you can enter to this amazing building. Welcome to uh, St. Stephen's Basilica. This is the biggest church in Budapest. Was built in 1851 to commemorate the uh, millennium of uh, the foundation of the uh, Hungarian Empire. Uh, it's dedicated to St. Stephen that was the first king of Hungary. And to enter to the church you need to buy uh, your ticket that is in one of the sides of the church, the uh, ticket post, and this is the ticket. And if you are students, you have to pay 1,300 foot. That includes the entrance to the interior of the basilica to go upstairs to the cupola and also to visit uh, the treasures of the church. Normal price is uh, 3,200 foot. So uh, don't miss and don't forget your student's ID if you have. St. Stephen's Basilica is the third biggest church in Hungary. It was built between the 1851 and the 1905. It is named in honor of Stephen I, King of Hungary, and inside the church you can see a relic of his right hand that is incorrupt.
In the treasury of the basilica, you can find different religious and historic objects, such as censers, chalices, and vestments. This is included in your all-in-one ticket. This is one of the two uh, tallest buildings in the city. The other one is a parliament that have 96 meters of the height because it was constructed um, uh, for the millennium of the country of Hungary in 1896. renovation of 125 years the cost is uh, 3,000 half and uh, if you are from nationalities outside the European Union if you are citizens from the European Union it's a different cost so please join me and let's meet inside because it have like a big exposition of different uh, parts of the world <music> The Museum of Ethnography was reopened in May 2022 and have more than 250,000 pieces of Hungary and from all parts of the world that shows different eras of the world history. One of the biggest parks in Budapest. Uh, 
at the beginning in the centuries of uh, 16 and 17 was the place of hunting of the kings and queens of uh, Hungary and uh, with the time was uh, converted to a public uh, park one of the biggest ones and now you have a lot of things to do in this park uh, just visit it but you can also visit one castle inside the museum of um, fine arts and also the museum of ethnography and the uh, theater of the heroes so uh, join me and we can go to this park and a lot of iconic places here in the city park behind me is located in the uh, city park and for me it's very interesting because it was constructed uh, memorying different architectures from Hungary uh, back in 1896 uh, was built to commemorate the 1000 years of the Hungarian Empire and have architecture from Transylvania, from Slovakia and from Hungary itself you can visit inside and if you want to visit the museum it's about the agriculture one of the most biggest in Europe and also you can visit two towers so you can see incredible views of the park and the castle and the entrance has a price of 3,000 half and uh, if you are students uh, from the European Union the price is 1,700 half show every part of the building it looks like a king's palace it's only an illusion the building originally was built as an exhibition pavilion in 1896 for the millenary celebration so in 1896 in hungary we celebrated the thousand years of hungarian kingdom here in the city park it was a one-year festival this building was the main pavilion it represented the hungarian history in the architect Every part of the building is a copy. It's a copy of churches, towers, monasteries and castles. Uh, plaza of the heroes 
is at the beginning of the uh, park of the city and uh, it is a historic patrimonium of, uh, by the UNESCO and represents uh, the seven leaders of the tribes that uh, together they create uh, the uh, Ungaran Imperium uh, one, more than 1,000 years ago. collections from the entire world and the, the whole cultures of the world and uh, the building reminds the um, Greek and Roman architecture so join me so we can enter and meet the uh, National Museum of Fine Arts of Budapest. The price of the entrance of, for the museum is 3,700 book and that is for the permanent ex exhibition if there uh, are like um, temporary exhibitions have an extra cost of 4200 and if you are a student the entrance is 1700 for I recommend to you to uh, buy uh, purchase your tickets in advance online I left you here the webpage uh, so you don't have to make this line outside of the museum to buy a ticket inside so also you can buy it one night before so you can be ready and you don't have to make lines on your visit to the museum The Museum of Fine Arts of Budapest is the largest art museum in the country. Its collection includes thousands of artwork from the prehistory to the present. Silver Line Crosses, there is many um, companies, but at this one I will let you hear at the webpage where I made the reservation. This is a night cruise that includes also a beverage, so uh, join me so we can appreciate the Buddha side and the Fetch side. And uh, let's get marvelous with me.
The Buda Castle was the palace complex of the Hungarian kings. It is located in the top of the castle hill and was first completed in the year of 1265. Today houses the National Gallery and the Hungarian National Museum. You can have free access to the outside complex of the castle and enjoy a wonderful views of the city of Budapest at any time of the day. Fisher Bastion was built between the 1895 and uh, 1902 and uh, the name is because that uh, group of workers was the one to, uh, that protects the city in the Middle Ages, uh, have seven towers that represent the seven uh, tribes that uh, uh, built and uh, created the Hungarian Empire in the 1896. Today is just a decoration and you can come here to see a wonderful views from the uh, part of the city of Pest. wonderful city and just two days is not enough to meet all the things that the uh, 
Budapest can offer to you. I hope that I can come back soon and so I can continue a meeting and uh, knowing new things about the city and that you can join me in that adventure. Uh, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. Comment all the things that you want and please like the video and we'll see you soon to meet a new destination. Bye-bye.